Evidently malnourished, these 76 minors of between the age brackets of 12, 13, 14, and 15 have been in the police net for 93 days. They were arrested in Abuja, Kaduna, Kanu, Kasina, Sokoto, and Gombe states over alleged treason. In August this year, during the nationwide and bad governance protest, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Betoku, had constituted a five man team of lawyers led by a Deputy Commissioner of Police. DCP Simon Law, SAN, to handle the prosecution. Four of the 76 minors launched on Friday as the police dug them in 10 can charge during arraignment at the Federal High Court in Abuja. <laughs> The trial justice Obiora Iguatu temporarily halted the process following the collapse of some of the defendants as sympathizing lawyers rushed to help the frail looking boys and move them to the court's clinic for medical attention. 30 minutes after the court resumed proceedings and the prosecution counsel applied to the list four of the affected defendants from the charge, a prayer granted by the trial judge Justice Iguatu. In his brief ruling, the trial judge Justice Iguatu granted each of the 72 other defendants bail in sum of 10 million naira each with two shorties in like sum. Justice Iguatu heard that one of the shorties must be a civil servant, not below grade level 15, who must have a verifiable address that is within the court's jurisdiction. According to the court, the second shorty must be the parents of the defendants. Human rights lawyers and counsel to the defendants blow out decrying the violation of the fundamental human rights of the arranged minors. You see, basically, our own is very simple. Why should, should children, why should small children, why should, why should they spend 93 days in police custody when they should be in school? And the government, the government can arrest, uh, the government can arrest 10. 12, 13 year old and keep them in custody for 93 days. But the government, the government has not been able to arrest the Abelo six months after. Is it not a parody of some sort that we have two separate countries? One country for the rich, one country for the poor. Our laws are very clear. It's 48, 48 hours. The police, the police are in breach of the fundamental rights of these children. So we, we are not going to delve into the substance of the issue which is already before the court, so that we will not make remarks that are subject to this. But what we are saying, very simple, Yaya Bello, six months later, has not been arrested. But you arrest our children. You keep them in custody for 93 days. These children, they are, they are already looking like they have kwashoko. They are malnourished. You understand? Then you cannot keep them in custody for this long. This is the reasons why our, our rating in the human rights index is poor, is bad. You understand? The Tinubu government should discontinue the charge. We make a passionate appeal to the AGF, you know, uh, Baba Latif Fagbemi, that he should discontinue the charge. Should, he should take over the matter and discontinue against these children so that the children, so that the children can return back to school. And the Attorney General of the Federation has the inherent powers to take over this matter under Section 174 of the Constitution. That Baba Latif Fagbemi should take over this matter and discontinue the charge against the children. I, I cried in open court because of this grave injustice that has been done to these kids. Counsel to the prosecutor, the bonds claims that the defendants are minors. These boys that we brought to the court today, all of them are adults. Most of them are married men. None of them is a minor. Some of them are university graduates. The small, small kids you are seeing here, they came with some of their parents to come and greet their loved ones. They are not even the real suspect standing trial in this case. These boys were arrested in Kaduna and Zaria. Imagine the level we find ourselves now. Do, do you know how much it costs us to be at this level of a democracy in this country. The courts granted 72 of the accused minors 
720 million naira bay. The police had insisted that the young minds attempted to destabilize the nation inside mutiny by shouting, Tunubu must go. It is military we want. Jude Aweke reporting for VOS TV News Benin.